Hey there everyone. So we are back with another video on PHP series. In this video, we will be learning about uploading the files in PHP and also validating them before uploading. So stay tuned. Before getting started, if you are new here, make sure that you click on the subscribe button and all the links mentioned in this video will be provided in the description box below. So to start with, firstly, we have to create a form and we need to provide the link to the user to upload the file. So I have created this file index.php inside file upload folder. So let's create a form here. So I have this template ready in this file and let's start the form. So inside this form, let's create an input tag, which will be of type file so that user can choose the file from the computer and let's give the name as file also. So to access this uh, uh, choose file option, we can use this name. And the next thing will be, I'll be writing the BR tag so that the button gets into the next line. And let's write the tags for the button. So I'll be writing input type equals to submit and the name will be equals to submit as well. And the value will be equals to upload. So I have written this uh, button and the value is also upload. Let's keep the U as capital. And after this, let's write here something called choose file from computer or from PC, let's say. So this will be written there and inside the form, we are forgetting to write the attributes which are very important. So the first attribute we will be writing is action. Inside action, I need to give the file to where it needs to go after pressing that submit button. So I will be writing here file upload.php and after this, let's write the method. Inside method, you need to give the post. Otherwise, your files will not be submitted to your server. Also, we will be having one more attribute known as enc hyphen type. This attribute is basically used when you are sending the data on the server and you need to tell the server in which hey in which format it is coming uh, so that i can process it so server needs to know that so you need to provide the encoding type here and there are three values that is given by php for these encoding types so the value which we will be using is multi part form data this will be used whenever you are uploading the files and there are two other values the first value is the url encoded which is actually encoding the text into some uh, special characters like if uh, to let you show uh, let's see an example a quick example here if i write something like hello all then see that how it processes the string the space has been converted to plus symbol that means it is converting some of the string and it is encoding it so this is basically the example for this first type of encoding that means it will be uh, transforming the spaces to plus characters and it will also be uh, changing the special characters to their encoded formats that is a hex hexadecimal encoded format. So the another value which ENC type takes is the text slash plane. So text slash plane basically converts only the spaces to the plus symbol and it will not be converting any special character to their hex values. So these are the three values which you will be using. And please make a note of it that whenever you are using multi-part form data to upload the file, you will always be using method as post. If you are using get here, certainly you will get an error or your file will not be uploaded. So let's get onto this fast. And uh, now we will be creating this file upload.php file. And now I'll be writing the PHP code here. And I want that when the browse button is clicked, only then I want to uh, access or I want to upload the file. So I'll be writing if is set, then we are using the method as post and inside it, I'll be writing the name of the button and the name of the button which we have provided in the form is submit. So if your submit button has been pressed, then we will fetch the file which the user has selected from that choose button. 
So to select that file, we will be using a special super global variable known as $files. So in this, we will be providing the name whatever you have given here for this input tag. So let's write the file name here and we are done. So let's store this value in some variable, say $files equals to this. And let's try to print this variable and see what it actually returns. So let's say I'll be writing files here and that's it. So this printer is used to uh, actually display the raw format of that object. So it uh, displays the human readable information. So that's it. Let's check it. I'll be closing this. Uh, we'll be selecting browse and the pictures. And inside this, I have just downloaded two uh, images that is flower and butterfly. So let's open this image that is a flower.jpg and let's click on upload. Oops, it gave me an error on line four. Let's just check this out. Where is the error? So let me see. Um, here everything is fine. And if I come to form, let me just hover it there. Um, okay, so, oops, so I have written this ENC type wrong. We do not have to write hyphen in between. I think that should work now. So refreshing it and when I click on upload, so I'm getting the array and as you can see, this is giving, returning me some values in the form of our array. That is an associative array. The first key is the name, which is giving me the name of the file that is flower.jpg. And then it is giving me the type that is image slash jpeg. That means it is of type jpeg. And then we have the TMP name that defines the temporary location of that file. So whenever you are uploading any file or selecting it, it will be getting uploaded temporarily on your system somewhere. So when you close the XAMPP, it will be automatically vanished from there. So we need to store it on our local host, that is our server. So next is the error field, which is giving zero. That means there is no error in selecting or uploading that file. Otherwise, it would have given some non-zero value. After that, there is size, uh, which is actually the size of the file in bytes. So we can use all these parameters and we can write it in some variables in this PHP file. Let's see how we can do that. So every value is stored inside this dollar files array and we can use this dollar files array to fetch the values like dollar files. And then we can write because it is an array, so I can write the square brackets and inside it, I can write something like this, like name. So you can see, yes, it will give me the name as flower.jpg. So I will be writing here file name. Let's store all the values in some variables. And then I'll be storing the value for uh, the location that is temporary location, the error and the data type. So let's copy paste this and I'll be writing here instead of file name, let's say file size. And then I'll be writing, let's see what are the other parameters we are having. So we have the TMP underscore name. So I'll be writing TMP location. Oops. So then I'll be writing here TMP underscore name. And after that here, I'll be writing the size that's given here. Yes, that is size. And also let's write file error. So when I mention error, I'll be writing here error and we can get all these values. So yes, now these variables are storing the values of name, size, temporary location, as well as the error. So now our actual coding starts. And now I want to check the validations like the user should only be allowed to enter the JPG, JPEG and PNG files. So for that, I need the extension. And to get the extension, if I see this output, I have the name, which is flower.jpg, and it is storing the extension as well. So to get the extension from this name, I need to split the string. And to split the string, we use the function called explode in PHP, in which the first parameter it takes is the delimiter, from where you want to split. And the second argument it will take is the string which you want to split. So I want to split this name. So let's write the second argument as this file name. Store it. Uh, this is actually the file ext or you can say 
it is just a result uh, let's try to print it and see what it actually returns so i'll be writing print underscore r and then i'll be writing dollar f let's see refresh this page uh, let's refresh and upload and now you can see there is an array with two indexes 0 and 1 0 is containing flower and at index 1 you can see jpg so we know that at index 1 we have jpg so i'll store that in some variable called file extension and i will also convert this into a lower case why because uh, if the user enters something like uh, this like jpg or a enter something like j then p and then capital g or like this so this will be a problem so we need to convert it into a constant uh, value that is a string to lower function which will actually convert it into lower case so let's convert it into lower case and i want to convert only the first index that is actually storing the extension of that file so this will actually store the file extension then I will provide the set of extensions which are allowed. So I'll write allowed ext equals to. Let's create an array and make it simple. So in the array, I will be providing these values which are allowed. So let's write here jpg, jpeg, and then we have png. So only these three type of files are allowed. To check that, I need to write the if condition. And inside if condition, I need to write one function which will actually check whether this extension is lying in this array or not. So that function is known as in underscore array as you can see in the suggestions. So this takes two arguments. The first one is the actually the mixed needle which says that which uh, variable you want to check. So I want to check this file extension let's write it here and then i want to search it inside this array so i'll be writing that array name here inside it if it matches it's fine if it doesn't matches i will print that file type not supported so let's say now i want to check for the file size so to check the file size we have to write if dollar and we have already taken the size of file in some variable that is called file size so just copy paste this variable name here and i'll write if it is less than say 2 lakh bytes or something and i know this is a vague value let it be for the time being uh, if it is less than 20000 then it will be fine otherwise it should give me an error that file size exceeded so this should be the error which should I get and after that now I want to copy or you can say now I want to upload the file. I have a function known as move uploaded file. So basically this function is used to move your file from one location to another location. So uh, for the time being I have my file stored in this location as you can see. We have written something as TMP name, which was actually storing the temporary location of the file. So this variable is storing the temporary location. And I want that the image should get from here and it should move to one of my folders provided. So let's create a folder first. So I'm inside file uploads folder. Inside it, let me create one more folder. Okay, it's not inside this. So I'm inside this folder now. And I'll create a folder inside it names as say uploads or yeah, it can be uploads. Now I want that the file should be located in this. So I have to create a destination for that file. And to create that, I have to write the path. So the path will be, let's say uploads slash. And then I have to give the name of the file. The file name we have already stored in this variable, which also contains the extension in it. So I don't need to write the extension from explicitly or from external source. So this file name will be saved as it is. So if you want to change the file name, you can do the same. You, uh, you can change the name using some functions by writing unique ID or something. You can change it. But let me keep it simple right now. And after that, you provide the destination here and just put semicolon. And I want that after uploading the file, it should move to the same page that is header 
and then I'll write the location. Oops, the spelling mistake. Then I'll write the location, and inside location, I will give that index.php file, and I'll also write success equals to true so that in the browser I will get this in the URL indicating that yes my file has been uploaded so let's go to this page again and refresh this page so I will be selecting one file let's say butterfly and open it and the upload so yes I'm on the same index file and it is saying success equals to true so let's check the folder I have this folder here and yes there is a file butterfly.png so it has saved the file with the same name which was there in the system so if you want to change the name of the file you can do so by writing the timestamps and to take the timestamps you have to use the function called unique id so to do that let me show you that you will write a uh, let's say file new name something like this so now the new name will be taken by the unique id uh, function now this unique id function takes two arguments one is your prefix prefix means whether you want to write or append your file name with something at the beginning so if you want to append it i can write it as test suppose i want to append it with test uh, keyword and then the second argument is entropy entropy refers to how many characters you want in your uh, unique id that is unique number so if i write it as true it will give me the 23 characters and if i write false that means 13 characters of the unique id will be generated so this is my new uh, new file name right now and after to that I need to provide the destination so to provide the destination I have this uploads and then I have this file new name instead of file name I'll write file new name which is actually the unique ID right now and after that I need to provide that uh, extension to the image because it does not contain any extension so we already know that we have stored the extension in this variable that is file ext so I'll just write it here and that's it. So this is my new destination and it will be moved. So let's try execute it. I need to write the dot with the extension. So I need to provide the dot here and now it is fine. It is saying uploads. Then we have the file name that is a unique ID. And after that we have given the dot and then we have given the extension. So let's try this out here and let's go back and refresh this page select the file let's say butterfly open and upload so it is saying success equals to true now let's check this folder and yes you can see that we have this image uh, you can also check it inside the direct so i'm inside my docs directory and inside it i have this php programs file upload and this uploads folder will contain this image so you can check the image that yes we have the image and you can also check the name that it is appending or prefixing it with the prefix that is called test underscore which we have given in this program also let us check for the error once whether we are getting the error or not so refresh this file click on browse and i will just choose any other file uh, let's say the pdf and if i open it then upload so it will say file type not supported similarly if you use the file which is having size greater than this 2 lakhs or 20,000 bytes so you will get the same kind of error so that's it for this video guys if you like the content please like share and subscribe and please hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications and also let me know in the comment section below what methods you are using for your file uploading in php We'll see you in the next video.